26 runners, a double decker start. So have now, a quick spin across the women's 5,000 metres final on the track. Stand by with the volume. Will it right be a double for Latvia's Agata Kalna? Such an impressive winner of the 3,000 metres on the second day of these championships. But a big, huge cheer for Hila Azran. She was at the traditional pre event press conference on Sunday. Admitted to being a bit nervous. Natasha Phillips. Guided on occasions by the great marathon runner Lorna Chemtai Salpeta. But here's the full run up of all 26 athletes, starting with Azran. Ukangis of Sweden, Phillips of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, Kirkadan of Turkey, Fratelli of Italy, Wolfsburg of Sweden, we can see there. Well, Sophia Thorgensen took the silver in the 1500 meters bitterly disappointed at being run out by Koshak of Turkey who we saw also earlier this evening in the bronze in the 800 meters and now the second echelon we start with Greece's Chapsipa Goiti Shervag at 30 Margarita Norway and then Spain, we call it because she has a lifetime best Takia. of 16.17, represents Multan, Germany. In shot here, Margarita Voliani, Kira Weiss. Kira Weiss. Louise O'Mahony is Ireland's representative at 11. Linda Ireland. Meyer for Germany at 10. Ireland Alexandra is also Maria in this field. Huda for Romania at 9. Hit 8 is Eva Bronze Today, uh, of Sweden. Romania, Drawn Bronze 7 of is Sweden. Caroline Denilaula of France. Denilaula and 6 of is France. Alexandra Sulska of Sulska. Poland. Poland. Benkert. Ben now watch Four out for Marion Benkert. She won the European Three Clubs Cross Country Championships back in February. She's really a rising Olympic. talent, Benkert. Not necessarily suggesting she's going to beat Agata Kaune, but could be in the mix for the medals. Schaefer of Germany, Millerek of Ireland, and Olivia Martin, who's a very good runner indeed. Britain on the inside as well, next to Agatha Kaune. So they're on the far side of the stadium. It's 12 and a half laps of the track. About 15 and a half minutes of running. Well, Kaune went within three seconds of a very good championship record in the 3,000 metres, running 8.53. Oh, there's a faller there. That was the pole. But she picked herself up very quickly. And Kauna doing just as she did in 3,000 meters, going straight to the front. Coming across Thorgelson. And Thorgelson produced quite a challenge to Kauna. Both women, though, have one very good race in their legs. In the case of Thorgelson, two with the heat of the 1,500 meters. One very good final, I should say. up there as well at this stage. Kurt, who I mentioned, well, she's been pushed and shoved around. And in turn, she's managed to extricate herself off the curb. I think Benker, the Spaniard, got caught in that opening rush with the two echelons. So down to counter, coming around. sense of how quickly she's running. The championship record stands at 15.21.12 to Elvin Eblagassi. That came in 2001, so it's been on the books for 22 years. And well, we're only 500 metres into the race. We've already got a leading pack of three clear of the rest. Thorgelson and Weiss already splitting off from the rest. Hillary up there. Natasha Phillips now in fourth place. Hillary leading the main group. Natasha Phillips trying to close the gap between the main group and he's running on her own in fourth place. Weiss off the back of the 
leading group, the leading trio. Through 600 meters in 1.49.19. They come around across the finishing line. They've done two and a half laps and we'll give you a one kilometer split. And that'll be a good gauge of how things are going at the sharp end of the race. But at the moment, it's Kalanir just pulling the race apart. Only Thorgolston staying with her. Well, Kalanir. European 3,000 metres champion two days ago. She's got a whole raft of other honours to her name. Yeah, it's fantastic, though, that we're getting to see Agatha Telnet against Sophia Turgesson. Yes, 13.01, the one-kilometre split. So that's on course for just outside 15 minutes. Well, if they can keep up this pace, that's going to be a massive improvement on a very good championship record. As we now look at the men's triple jump finalists, just about to be presented to what I estimate is close on a 3,000 strong crowd here on the final session at the Give It Round Stadium. Welcome the athlete to the triple jump final men! Representing Slovenia, my Cizera Tur. So, first man up. Cizera Turk of Slovenia set a personal best of 15.62 in qualifying. Next to him, Juan Francisco Lozano of Spain. Stephen Freund. Stephen Freund. Standing triple jumper, leading German. Paul Moiser and Dubé. Next to him, Leandro Andrea de More. Left it late and then produced a good effort in qualifying. 15.51. Real Martin. The acrobatic Spaniard, I think we can say. Abel Havelek, national champion in the triple jump in the senior ranks, both indoors and out. Here's the Estonian Victor Mozarov, world under 20 bronze medalist last year in Cali. Yanis Gatsios of Greece, just 17 years of age. Personal best of 1585. European under 18 champion. And this man's already been on the podium once in these championships. Ozidar Sadaboyakov took the silver with a national under 20 record in the long jump of 822. Well, we'll catch up with the triple jump, I'm sure. But the one final that's going to be concluded before that is going to be the women's 5,000 metres. And Kauner has broken away now. Thorgelson has been just left trailing in a wake and there's about a 60 metre gap now between Kauner. So we're just coming up to the two kilometre split very shortly. As they cross what would normally be the 200 metre start along the back straight. And Kauner is just pouring it on at this stage. She's put in two very quick laps while we're having that triple jump presentation and broken the spirit at the moment. 5.59, she's inside 15-minute pace. Well, this is a superb run at the east stage of the race from Agatha Kauner, 3,000-meter gold medalist. Only question is, will she just run out of steam? Is this all too much too early? But with Agatha Kauner, well, she's got a personal best of 15-12. She's on course for smashing not only the championship record, but her own personal best, which is about seven seconds faster. And she's coming through to see seven laps to go. Cover of Hungary then, first round of the javelin for her. So Vilagos with 55-88 leading so far, Cobber 52-67, up into second place. On to Shakota of Croatia, also having a strong championships. So Javelin falls down around 50 metres there. Still in the opening stages of this field final. Well, we concentrate as well on the 5,000 on the track. 
looking forward to seeing the uh, decathlon completed soon also this is Namakaiti Lithuania not too much momentum on that runway let's see where this falls so almost as effective as Sakota though making it fairly close behind Vilagos here she is once again on to the second round so similar to uh, Herzeg living up to her billing as the favorite but still with the opportunity for others to close and keep her under pressure as we saw Max Denning do so well for Germany he got the silver in the men's event Michael Allison of Britain the bronze really nice transfer of energy as Villagos blocked on the line there to come to a stop very close to her first round effort it's 55 79 consistent if nothing else just to pick up on something that we learned from this athlete in the final this is actually pronounced Agata Sauna she said okay in that case I will amend my pronunciation and it's Agata Sauna running away from the rest of the field oh that looks like Weiss who steps to one side we'll just check that's one of the Germans but it's still Agata Sauna I do apologize for my hard British pronunciation on that we do our best to try and get the correct pronunciations so she's certainly straining but we do know that she's got really phenomenal reserves this Latvian protege she was devastating in the 3,000 meters just gone through 901 still on course for a time very close to 15 minutes and she's now starting to lap back markers that's incredible in a 5,000 meter race that's a sauna she's gone past runners from Sweden and Italy and she's just going to start reeling in the rest of the back markers this is almost like Freddie Vagel in the 10,000 meter race walk lapping athletes but this is only half the distance well this is a phenomenal performance trying to see where the nearest rival to her is I think this is just one of those performances to save her. She's coming through with four laps to go. She's going to have to start running in the second lane. This is a big gap. She's now lapping almost everybody apart from four women in front of her. That's a sauna. Just under four laps to go now. Her arms just dropping slightly to the side, just trying to shake out a little bit of the lactic acid, I think. But there's no disrupting that rhythm. And she's coming around large groups of runners, including two very good Turkish athletes, and she's just making them look really pedestrian. like Weiss and Togerson a long way back but battling over the other medals and Sauna almost looking at the other athletes as if to say what a nuisance it is she has to go around them but so exciting to see her coming to these championships and just what she's capable of translating really well onto the track what about the field cover second round and in second place doesn't look like any improvement there but yes I mean counter 31 and a half seconds clear of Turgesson on the European list this year. Obviously, the world under 20 leader over 3,000 clear of Ethiopians and Kenyans, with uh, Turgesson also second over 3,000, 13 seconds behind over that particular distance that Sauna has already won at these championships. Chakota, 48.62 in the opening round. Again, nice clean technique, steps back, and she'll see that she's seemingly improved here. 53.02, so overtakes 
Fanny Kova. So a change among our top three, and that trio has gone over 50 metres, and there's quite some gap, four and a half metres behind to four. Well, it's now back on the track with Agata Sauna. She's got two and a half minutes of running left. Just coming up to see the lap marker with 800 metres, 200 metres to go. And she's carrying on with that championship record in her sights now. Quite clearly the championship record, which has stood for 22 years. Let me just remind you again, Elvin Eblagassi's time of 15.21.12 from Grosseto in 2001 is under threat. We haven't seen too many championship records here in Jerusalem. Of course, Matteo Falani got one on the oak on the second evening in the long jump. But Agata Kauna looking set to smash that record which has been there for a very long time and into the bargain. Take down her personal best which stands at 15.12.04. Well, she's been focusing on these championships. She looked the part at the European Team Championships in Celestia back in June when she won races against many people who were on paper senior rivals and some of women with better times. But Agata Kauna, well, she's really going to be leading the challenge of European distance running for the next few years, barring injury. One lap to go, she's going to hear the bell. Agata Sauna goes through. 13.54 unofficially at the bell. Well, she's still well on course for that championship record. She's just got to keep focused, keep the rhythm going. She's starting to stoop just slightly forward, but the arms are pumping. She's gritting her teeth. The head now just slightly bobbing from side to side. She's got 250 metres left. This is going to be a really phenomenal performance. And she's pushing hard still. There's no sign that she's going to ease up. She's really working hard. She's coming around the bend for the last time. She's got 150 meters to go. Just look how pedestrian some of the other women in this race are. And just remember, these are their nation's representatives. Into the home straight with 100 meters to go. She's passing Olivia Phillips, who's a really good runner in her own right. And now she's picking it up. She's sprinting. She can see that championship record becoming her property. This is a truly amazing run. Agata Sauna takes the 5,000-meter gold, smashes the championship record and her personal best. And it's a double gold at these championships for the Latvia. 15.03.86, it's about 80 seconds of what had stood as a championship record for 22 years. Agata Sauna, well, we've still got many finals still to come this evening, the final night of the European Under-20 Championships. But I have to say, for my money, she is my female athlete of these championships. Yes, coming through here now, this looks like the battle. Sophia Turgesson just behind the uh, German Kira Weiss. They were battling for a long, long time, but as you can see there, best part of a minute behind Sauna. And she was three seconds outside that 3,000 championship record, which has been held since the early 90s. So to obliterate this one, her kind of personal revenge, but really her only rival has been the clock. Yes, Weiss, massive personal best for the German. Weiss coming into these championships with a personal best of 16.17. So she's taken around 27 seconds off her personal best. Thorgson just a little bit outside her best, perhaps feeling the effects of those two rounds of the 1500 meters. I have a feeling we're going to see a few more personal bests as well further down the line. Phillips, well, we just saw her being lapped, so Sauna lapped everybody apart from the two other medalists, Weiss and Torgensen. And PBs for Denaula of France, Holzberg of Sweden. These are women who are more than a minute and a half behind Agata Sauna. And they're their country's leading runners in this competition. 
that says everything about a Gauta Sauna. Because these runners, like Phillips, like Danala, just terrific runners in their own right. And coming home, Hila Azran of Israel. Great run by Hila Azran. Azran just outside a personal best, I think. But there's still other runners coming home behind the Israeli athlete. Well, I don't think it's too soon to say Agata Sauna is the female athlete of these championships, as far as I'm concerned. Two utterly magnificent wins. And that 5,000 meter run, even better for my money than her 3,000 meter win on the second night of these championships. Yes, I suppose that was always a possibility given that she was much further clear on the European under 20 list. But yeah, we've been looking forward for some time to see her at these championships, just as we have been with the likes of Niels Laros, uh, Nick Griggs, and Sophia Turgeson, indeed herself, who was beaten, of course, to that silver medal by Kira Weiss, despite being around. Half a minute clear of her on those European under-20 lists this year. You know what? We looked at the athletes along that start line, and some of them were looking a little bit nervous, keen to get the race underway. But Sauna was absolutely calm and stern and stone-faced, and she just never looked back. What a phenomenal talent. And sometimes you watch these championships, and you think there's a person with real star quality. We said it about Yaroslava Mahucic, Jakob Britson, Fem Kabal at these championships, and look at what they've gone on to achieve. What's next for Agata Sauna? As we look at the results, confirmation of that championship record, 15.03.85. Kira Weiss taking silver for Germany, and Sofia Thorgensen bronze for Denmark. Well, I believe she's in the Latvian team for the World Championships in Budapest, coming up in uh, less than two weeks' time. Be interested to see.